Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In my previous demo, I made a flow that sent email about documents that had pending approvals that needed to be approved. And we saw that that worked fine for the email back and forth, but we all want to automate the full procedure so that we actually can update the approval status also. That can at this time of recording not be done using a flow uh, with the built-in approval status column. So we need to build a custom approval column for that. Then it will, we can automate everything. So let's do that. We'll go into library settings and go into the versioning settings and take away this content approval feature and set it to create major versions only. That's fine. And then we'll click OK. And as you see now in the columns here, there's no approval column there. So instead, I'm going to add a new column and call that procedure approved. And that's going to be a choice column. I'm going to enter the values. I'll put them in alphabetical order because that's the window standard. Approved, pending, rejected. But of course, I don't want it to be by default approved. That would be kind of strange. I would defeat the purpose. So instead, I'm going to type in pending there. All right. And that's, of course, gets added to the default view. Now, all the existing procedures don't have an approval yet because I removed that. So I'm going to go into quick edit and just say that these are all approved now. So I'm going to change that to approved. And then I'm going to use the fill tool here to just fill that down so that all of these are approved. Then I'm going to modify this existing view. So I'm going to edit this view so that it only shows those that are approved. So our only items where the procedure approved is equal to approved. And then I am going to create another view. I'll just save a copy of this view now. including non-approved. There we go. And then I'm going to edit that view and remove the filter. There we go. So now we have two views, one called all document, including non-approved, and one just all document. That's, of course, the default one, all documents. So now we're going to modify the existing flow so that it updates this column, the procedure approved. So let's go back into this um, flow here and edit the flow. And in addition to sending the email saying that this is approved, it's actually going to make it approved also. So let's add an action here. The one we want is the update SharePoint list item. I want it to be SharePoint searching update item. That's the one we want. All right. So we're adding that. And again, we want the site, the URL to the site. I'm going to enter that by entering a custom value. There we go. SharePoint list name, enter a custom value there also. Using the procedures. There we go. And the item we want to work with is, of course, the ID of the item that was, we started with. Now we want to set the column to approved. And this is, of course, if the email scope here, if the selected option was indeed approved. If it's not, then I'm going to add an action here too. Let's do the same thing. Uh, SharePoint, it's going to be a SharePoint one. An update item. There we go. Update item. That's the one we want there. And now it's uh, suggesting that site, the same site that we are in, but I still have to type in the name of the list. Perfect. Same one, the ID, and dynamic content. I think this is actually showing outside of my screen now. Let's zoom out and see if we can do that. Yes, there it is. So we want the ID, and then we want that to be set to rejected. Let's zoom in again so we can actually see what's going on. There we go. So now we set the ID of the item uh, and we set it to reject it. So that's fine. And now we're done. So we'll update the flow. And we're done. 
So let's uh, log in as Antonio again, go back to the procedure site and we're gonna upload a new file. When we want this time is the one called Reuters. Reuters doc, how do we handle Reuters? And we have a procedure for that. Now that's uploaded. Yeah, now it's not showing because we're only showing the all documents, but if we switch over to the including non-approved, well, we have the Reuters is indeed pending. Good, that's how it's supposed to be. So let's go over to my mailbox here. And now we have approval request Reuters, and let's reject that one. The response reject has been successfully registered. And let's go over and see how that looks. And if we switch over to the other view, the non-approved, you see that the Reuters was indeed rejected. Now, remember that we didn't put an email action on the rejection, so Antonio will not get an email. So that's as it should be. That's how we built the flow. But of course, it can be enhanced to do that. So that concludes my demo on how to automate approvals with a custom approval column. Thank you for watching this demonstration.